We're looking at a few showers this weekend from what's left of Helene, but it's going to stay dry through the work week ahead. Now the big question on everyone's mind, could we see a new tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico next week? Well, let's dive into today's weather briefing video. For today, Helene's remnants are still hanging around just to our north, sending a few showers into the northern half of Alabama throughout the day. Now those showers will mostly be along and north of I-20, while down south, y'all will stay dry. Temps today will range from the upper 60s up north to the mid 80s down south. As we head into Sunday, those remnants will start to fizzle out and spread out across the Tennessee and Ohio River valleys. You might see a little more sunshine, but some afternoon showers will still be possible. Highs will be in the mid 70s to the upper 80s. Come Monday, things will dry out across the state with plenty of sunshine. Expect highs in the upper 70s to the upper 80s. By Tuesday, we're staying dry with sunny skies. It's going to warm up a bit more with highs in the 80s. Now, a weak boundary is going to slip into the northern parts of Alabama on Wednesday, bringing in some slightly cooler air, but it'll still be sunny and dry with highs from the upper 70s to the upper 80s. Thursday, that cooler air sticks around after the boundary moves out. We'll stay sunny and dry with highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s. As we wrap up the work week on Friday, sunny and dry weather will still be holding strong across Alabama, but the GFS model is showing a system developing in the Gulf, possibly heading toward the Mississippi or Alabama Gulf Coast. Now we're still a little too far out to know for sure, but the National Hurricane Center has identified a spot where a tropical system could form around that time. Highs Friday will stay in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Now let's talk tropics. As of 8 p.m. Friday, we're keeping an eye on four areas of interest. First off, in the Western Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico, we could see a low pressure system forming by mid next week. Conditions look pretty favorable for slow development as it moves northwest, possibly reaching the Gulf by the end of next week. Right now, the chance of formation is low near 0% over the next 48 hours, but it climbs to about 30% over the next seven days. In the eastern and central Atlantic, there's a broad area of low pressure near the Cabo Verde Islands. Shower activity is limited right now, but gradual development is possible, and we could see a tropical depression form next week as it moves west-northwest at about 10 miles per hour. Formation chances are around 10% within the next 48 hours, but up to 40% over the next 7 days. Tropical Storm Joyce is out there with winds that have picked up to around 50 miles per hour and she might strengthen a bit more through early Saturday before gradually weakening next week. Right now, Tropical Storm Force winds extend out about 70 miles from the center. Lastly, Hurricane Isaac is out there over the open Atlantic and is expected to shift east-northeast and slow down just a bit and then it will start turning more to the northeast and that motion should continue through Monday. As of now, Isaac's maximum sustained winds are at 85 miles per hour, with slight strengthening expected overnight before it starts weakening next week. Isaac is likely to become a post-tropical cyclone by Monday. That wraps up today's weather briefing. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin, and Bill Murray will be back with your next update Sunday morning. Y'all have a great day, stay safe, and God bless.